the operations update for April 12th. Um, as you can see, not a lot has changed on the overarching battlefield. This comes from the Institute of Study War, but I do have to kind of um, cross out the nut title so I can not be hung up in review. Uh, there have been some small battles taking place in Izium. These are most likely probing by the Russians as well as Rubizne and, well, and Donetsk proper. Uh, a lot of military experts are saying that there is looking to potentially be a smaller double envelopment coming out of Mariupol once they claim, the Russians claim that, as well as Izium to try and take all of this territory. Uh, however, the Russians are working to reconstitute forces that were withdrawn from the Battle of Kiev, and they're still struggling to establish necessary logistical bases to uh, increase offensive operations in this entire Donbas area. Um, they have conducted some small-scale fighting, though. The Ukrainian military has conducted heavy counteroffensives in the Zaporizhia region um, to try and push the Russians back to create some space to potentially use forces in Zaporizhia to potentially at least resupply, if not liberate Mariupol, and then possibly conduct assisting operations in Kherson as well. Um, not sure how that's going to pan out, but this five-hour battle that took place was a Ukrainian force trying to liberate the area where the Ukrainians were on the offensive. Now we'll go ahead and move on to Mariupol from here because I know that's on all of your minds. Um, Mariupol, the assessment from the U.S. Department of Defense is that Mariupol is still contested and that Ukrainians are still fighting to defend Mariupol from Russian seizure of it. Not sure on, of what their supply capability is or what ammunition they have on ground, but it seems like every inch that the Russians collapse this circle in is another inch, or it makes it exponentially harder for the Russians to take additional territory. So going forward, we do still think that Russia will take Mariupol, but it is still taking longer, and the Marines that are fighting in this area are heroic. Um, the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence has also claimed that Russian troops continue to struggle with low morale and, pro and promised financial incentives to participate in combat in Ukraine, which have not been de delivered as promised. Uh, reports are that service members of the 47th Guards Tanks Division and of the 1st Army have failed to receive promised additional payments for participating in operations and that the military leadership is, at, is ignoring their, their complaints about this. Additionally, the Russian troops are refusing to fight because they're seeing the amount of bodies being returned to Russia. On, so the Russians have countered this by creating smaller batches of Russians to avoid causing panic amongst their troops. And that's it.